Sponsored by Wing Wing Technologies, one of the highest button counts in the industry. Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. It's the 12th of May 2022. A very cool little mod is going to be released for DCS soon by a chap called Red Code. It is a mod to make the Flaming Cliff 3 aircraft cockpits clickable or at least semi clickable. It's not released at the time of making this video, but it will be in two or three days. So first to install, you will need to go to the Red Code Discord channel. I will have a link for that in this video description. I'm going to go on it here. Ping. There will be a room within that Discord for downloads. It's not there at the moment, obviously, because it's not available, but it will be soon. Go in there, download the file. Once the file is downloaded, go to your downloads, click on the file, copy this file here within the zip file, go to your C drive, users, your user, saved games, DCS or DCS open beta, mods, if you don't have that folder, make it, tech, if you don't have that folder, make it, and paste. That's how easy it is to install run the game. Once in the main menu, you can check it's been installed because it will say down here. Next, main options, special, scroll down to the mod, choose here which Flaming Cliffs 3 aircraft you want to apply it to. All of these are included. Next, let's go and fly the plane. So we are in a multiplayer server now, we've got myself, Grump, Simba, Violet and Arnie say hello guys. Hello guys. Hello there. Hello guys! First thing to mention is that this mod does not appear to break the integrity check, so we can use this on various multiplayer servers. Right, I'm going to choose a random plane. Uh, how about F-15? I'm going to go in because I know it. I love these FC-3 planes, by the way. I know they're a bit old and a bit dated, but I still think they're some of the best planes in DCS for pure playability and having fun. I think they're absolutely brilliant, and so this modernizes them a bit. So, if you remember, in an FC-3 plane, valued viewers you would go to adjust controls and you would have all these different controls this is how you controlled the plane so where you would normally press buttons on the cockpit instead you would have to bind keyboard and or joystick commands to them there was no clickability at all well now most or all of those commands have been turned into clickable features in the 3d cockpit First thing, make sure you've got this yellow cross enabled for the cursor. If you don't, press left, alt and charlie and it will come on. Now we can start clicking stuff. Everything is not clickable because everything is not modelled in these FC3 planes. Only the functions that are modelled in the FC3 planes are clickable. So let's just start having a look around. Uh, hard brightness rheostat. Ping, you can see the HUD. Now note that the knob doesn't move. The knob or the switch itself will only move if that 3D artifact moved in the original plane. So the maker of this mod has not had access to the actual 3D models, only the control of the functions. And that will make more sense as we go ahead. So next, why don't we look at navigation mode. We've got a switch here. We can change between different navigation modes. Let me show you on the HUD. You can see we're changing between different navigation modes. Note the switch will not move because the switch did not move in the original plane. HSI, we can change between waypoints or airports or whatever selected, just like the how the original FC3 plane worked. And that will change between our different options and we can see them up on the HUD as well. Parking brake will work. Again, the 3D model doesn't move because it didn't in the original aircraft, but it does function. Push to jettison does function again the 3d model doesn't move because it didn't for the same reason uh, we've got jettison and moving down here we've got our cast channels these switches did move in the original model so he does have the ability to move them that one doesn't so what I'm saying is if you see the green cursor go green over a function it will work but the 3d model may not necessarily correspond some will some won't but if the cursor goes green it will do that function what else have we got Radar commands, I can't show you because we're on the ground, but radar commands all function. Again, the knob will not move in 3D, but we can change the range, we can change the scan elevation, we can change other stuff here regards the radar. Uh, what else have we got? Got some countermeasures. Again, no 3D movement of the knob, but countermeasures will actually work. 
allegedly your landing and taxi lights will work too. There we go, fire the flare. Uh, we can open the canopies. Catch the mirrors. Where are the lights, Scrum, on F15? Can you remember? Uh, left side of your front panel. Yep, but the lights we can change, they do work. Again, not modeled in 3D here. Uh, refueling, this one is modeled in 3D. Tanks there. And so on. Got barometric altimeter. We can change the pressure here with the mouse scroll wheel. Uh, what else have we got, guys? Should we try the ejection handle? Where is the ejection handle? Is it here? Is it? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Very good. Can you just jettison the canopy? Uh, maybe. It depends. If you could do it in the existing. Flaming Cliffs 3 plane, then it's here working somewhere. Um, just jumped into a sea flanker because why not? Whee! <laughs> Whoopsie! Uh, I can't speak Russian, so I don't even know what any of this stuff does, but apparently this will do stuff, whatever it is. Auto pilot options, look, these are modeled in 3D, which is good. It almost needs now Eagle Dynamics to catch up and go and model these other switches in 3D to kind of um, complement, uh, to kind of reawaken the FC3 series. Does GCAS in the MiG-29 work? It's highly unlikely. So we've got a pretty good flavour. So as I've described it, if it was a function in the old existing FC-3 aircraft, it's now applicable in a cockpit. It may or may not be animated in 3D, depending on the actual existing Eagle Dynamics model. It's as simple as that. I'm just looking for anything else that's interesting, kind of different and interesting to show off. I'm testing GCAS. I don't think it's going to work. Nope, it didn't work. Oh no! It did work. What's GCAS again? It's a ground, ground avoidance. Ground avoidance. Oh, the MiG-29 has that? Uh, yes. It is the... middle button of the autopilot buttons. Armament switches we haven't had a look at yet, and they do work. Again, whether they're actually animated is going to depend on, uh, again, the same parameters I said before. Also, with this mod, usually with other mods, I use them and then I delete them, which is just the way you've got to do it with mods because they will otherwise ruin your multiplayer experience. This one, because it passes integrity check and appears to fully function without any weird bugs and stuff, it doesn't seem to mess the game up, this may actually be something I leave on full time for FC3. Only time will tell if it's reliable like that. Um, but like I said, it may be one of. Oh, I found another one there. Ones. I think one of the fun things about this mod is actually going in the cockpits, all of the cockpits of the nine aircraft, and uh, finding out which are the switches. Bearing in mind a lot of them are in Russian or Chinese, which are the switches you actually press. I mean, yeah, you already you already mentioned it. it seemed like if it was a uh, model to be usable in old uh, FC3, it'll have its working counterpart in the cockpit. This should be available hopefully tomorrow if you're watching this video now. So go and download it if it's released on time. Have fun, give feedback. I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you later. The main Grim Reapers videos are now being split between this YouTube channel and the Grim Reapers 2 YouTube channel. So if you want to see all of the Grim Reapers videos, please consider subscribing to both channels and thank you for watching.